hello good people welcome back to this amazing channel thank you so much for the support that you've shown i really appreciate if you have not subscribed consider subscribing today we have a new video and this is just a random video of how my week went it was a tough and a rough week for me but let's see how everything went and i would like to share the experience with you guys so enjoy the video like share and comment so this was just a random week as i've said so i began on this day i just woke up after refreshing up i then put a load on the machine so it will wash when i'm doing other stuff so by the time i'm done also the clothes will be ready so we begin with the laundry After putting the load, I then moved to the living room area, cleared everything and then dusted the surfaces and I mopped the floors for both the dining area and the living room section. <music> spraying my living room when it's clean then i moved to the kitchen area cleared all the utensils I cleaned my cooker as well as the worktop areas with the Astonish kitchen cleaner. This always works perfectly for me. For this day i prepared beef for lunch so i just boiled it 
using my Nutricook electric pressure cooker. As the beef was boiling, it would take about 30 minutes. So that was enough time for me to finish up the cleaning. So I just mopped the kitchen floor that was left and also other places that I had not cleared. <music> I had a lot of shoes that were dirty. I also made sure that they were all wiped and all clean. was my lunch some rice and beef this was the next day on this day i just cleared some work and then i had to iron my beddings i had washed them and just folded them so i had to iron them and also iron some of the clothes that were done before they were not so many so this is what i did and sorted them out <music> feeling a bit sick so my bag got some breakfast from java and we had some fruits as well on the side then later on i went and got some outfit from tj's day four very early in the morning at 4 a.m we were off headed home there was a funeral back there actually we had two <laughs> We got a chance to see our project that was ongoing so we had a friend who had accompanied us thank you so much for the company <laughs> The fifth day was the burial date and also our young ones had prize giving so we had to attend. Later that same evening we had to go to Kisumu. I was traveling home. This was just us getting to Kisumu city. I was traveling home because we had another funeral from my mom's side. So I had to go home, pick her, then we go to the funeral together. Day 6, burial date for my cousin, so sad losing young ones, but 
we leave all unto God. Gotta get out of it. After the burial, I also had to travel back. I had booked a flight from Kisumu that was at 7 p.m. So I had to get to the airport early enough and then travel back to Nairobi. This was a tiring week of my life, you know. This was just so tiring, was sick and everything. But, you know, we thank God for life. Tonight, oh, oh, oh. I took my flight at Kisumu and got to Nairobi safe. So we just thank God for the safe flight and the gift of life. also happened to be my first day experiencing the expressway the nairobi expressway this was so fast you know we got home so early because of the expressway we avoided all the traffic back there so this is so efficient you all should try this this is just so so efficient we got home and then i just freshened up and slept like that i was so tired and sick so until the next day On the sixth day, I woke up feeling a little better. And then since I had not done my bed sheets over the weekend, I had to do them and then change the new bedding. So let's do the laundry. Oh, oh, oh. I hate all this overthinking. Oh, 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 oh. Clearing the kitchen as well as preparing breakfast for this day. So
cleaned my living room as usual mostly i mop the house twice a week because it doesn't that get dirty that easily so i just limit it to at least twice a week With you. Won't you take me home and give me wings to fly we can be alone in the castle in the sky we can run preparing my breakfast putting some sausages and potatoes to fry using my air fryer <music> As my breakfast was getting ready, I had to organize my fridge, mostly the freezer part, because my mom gave us some food, ready food like kienyeji burgers, fish, sardines, and many more. So they were not well organized because I was not around, so maybe I just put them in the freezer. So when I get back, I could at least sort them into the right containers and store them well. So this is what I'm doing before. <music> see what we have there are a lot of food that will take us for almost two months i appreciate my mom for always doing this for me you know that's all you could ever ask for so i just want to sort them out <music> Putting out the foodstuffs were quite a lot of work, so I just decided to clear up the sink. We finish preparing our breakfast, have our breakfast, and then finish the sorting later. this is what i prepared pancake sausage with some potatoes and then we had fruits on the side with hot chocolate just 
this is what i did for the sorting putting them in small portions and then storing them nicely in the freezer also had some more we had maize avocados purples and so so many fruits so also these i sorted them and stored them in the right right ways yeah so we had enough food for almost two months but for the vegetables i had to leave them to thaw for some time because they were so frozen Turn truth to lies Gotta get up, stop wasting time Yeah, I wanna run off and fly And I tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home oh, oh, oh. I hate all this overthinking Oh, oh, oh cleaned the shoes that we had when we went home remember when i ironed my bed sheets i didn't store them so on this day i'm storing them and also changing new beddings for my bed Also change new clean towels for us. Since I was not feeling well, I asked Pei to go get some extra shopping for some of the items that we didn't have. Mostly food, like meat, fish, and everything. And I thank God for him because he went and brought everything that I asked him to. <music> Uh, 
my coffee lover he didn't forget to bring me some cappuccino from art cafe with some cake actually i love the coffee from art cafe it's always amazing <laughs> So this is the mini shopping I sent him to do and at least now we have food. I didn't also have tomatoes and he brought them and also some washing detergent. So I'm here to organize them now. <music> I washed the tomatoes that he brought and also sorted out the meat items that he got and also the chicken. We had beef, goat, chicken wings, chicken breast, chicken drumsticks and also red snapper fillet and nile patch fillet. So these plus the additional ones that my mom gave us, we are sorted. to the gym on this day and just stretched for 10 minutes and i was out was feeling so bad dinner time preparing some tilapia with jute melo both from my mama Prepared coconut creamed tilapia with ugali and jute melo for dinner. This was delicious with some fruits on the side. After the vegetables thawed, I then organized them into small, small portions in these IKEA Ziploc bags and stored them in the freezer. The next morning, I had a simple breakfast. I didn't want much. Then I was craving liver. I prepared some liver with rice. I love liver. Yeah, the following day, this is what we had for breakfast. And then I spent the whole day sleeping because I was not just feeling myself. hello my people how are you it's been a while ever since you saw my face but here i am so i've been so down and sick you know a lot has been happening the past few days as you've been have uh, you've seen in the video so i'm not so well but at the moment i can say i'm better because at least at the moment i just have a cold and a very serious cough but i'm on medication so actually it's very cold as well so today when i woke up we didn't have power so i haven't done anything constructive i just woke up then uh, I had my conflicts. I didn't even prepare breakfast because I didn't feel so good. But but now the power is back and I'm feeling better. So I just want to clear the dishes. I had not even cleared the dishes. Then I shower. 
<clears throat> I couldn't shower with cold water in the morning. Then I shower and then maybe go out and just cheer up because it's quite a tiresome and tough week for me. But I see towards the end I'm becoming a bit active than at the middle of it it was quite tough so at least let me just do something and then we get active i'm thinking of going having of going out maybe i have lunch somewhere relax and then i have um, some errands to run in the evening so let me just clear up the dishes and we meet later so i'm faring on well sorry last weekend we couldn't have a video because of what you've seen in the video so pardon me for that but you know sometimes you you don't have control over some things and then it's also so sad seeing us lose our the young generation like young guys just passing on you know but then we have no control over anything we just pray to god to continue guiding us together with our families our friends and everyone you know so it happens and it was so sad that i had two of them but then we just keep on praying guys so let me get into the cleaning so this is the situation here but i don't have a lot of things because these ones are i wash them at night so i just have to clear this so that even when i come back to prepare dinner everything will be clean so i think that's it for today at least the lights are back yeah after cleaning my kitchen was now clean and then we headed out you see your girl just decided to slay this day so we had our lunch i had missed burger i enjoyed it then headed to mr price got some cute outfit went out for some errands and we were back home Passed by a local joint later in the evening and then I had my pasua na kadhalika. So this is where my video ends. Until the next one. Bye.